Hi friends, welcome to ET. I hope you are all enjoying your fantastic day. Today we are going to discuss interesting topic in electronic devices that is advantages of FET over BJT. First of all, this BJT is abbreviated as Bipolar Junction Transistor. Bipolar Junction Transistor. It's a three terminal device whereas this FET is abbreviated as field effect transistor. Field effect transistor. The name itself in BJT is representing that the current in BJT is due to two things one is majority carrier and the other is minority carriers whereas in field effect transistor the current is due to only majority carriers that is why these field effect transistors are called unipolar devices this field effect transistors are called unipolar devices. Because of this property, there is a major advantage in field effect transistor that is, it is having low noise. Low noise. And the major advantage of FET is, it is immune to radiation. FET is immune to radiation. Now let us enter into the basic major advantages of FET that is first one is FET is having very high internal impedance that is input impedance of the FET is very high. Input impedance input impedance of FET is very high. That is why this device field effect transistors are used in many many devices, mathematical devices they are voltage, voltmeter, ammeter and CROs. Because of this property that is field effect transistors have very high input impedance we are using them in every devices which are used for measurement they are voltmeter current meter and CROs why let us consider a series resistance two resistors in series which is having a source of 10 volt let us consider this one as 10k this one as 10k by observing or by voltage division law we can easily conclude that if you want to measure the voltage across this resistance that is let us consider this as Vx if you want to calculate Vx by simply using voltage division law Vx is equal to total res total voltage that is delivered by source into the resistance where you are measuring the voltage by total voltage sum of the two resistances that is 10k plus 10k that is 20k and this is 10k and it will cancel here by two times that is 5 volts vx is equal to 5 volt now this is our mathematical approach but now let us test the same voltage by using a voltmeter let us connect a voltmeter here let us connect a voltmeter here and let us consider the voltmeter is having an inter internal resistance of having 10 20k do you think that this uh, the value shown by this voltmeter is exactly equal to 5 it's it is absolutely wrong why because the internal impedance of this res of this device acts parallel to this to the resistance which we have drawn in our circuit that is 
this exact circuit is representing like this 20 parallel to 10k 20k parallel to 10k which is in series with 10k 10 volt that means here the resistance value had been changed so the voltage drop obviously will be changed this is called loading effect loading effect why because as i said earlier there is no source in the world in the practical world which is having zero inter zero in output resistance and there is no load in the practical world which is having infinite internal resistance so because of that we are we are getting a problem called loading effect in order to overcome this problem we use field effect transistors in every measurement devices Now, how FITs are overcoming this problem? Let us consider the same circuit. Let us consider the field effect transistors have input resistance as 100 mega ohm. And this is our voltmeter circuit, voltmeter resistance of 20 kilo ohm. By comparing this one, this is the major path. So definitely entire voltage watch we have delivered by the source will appear across this one. So by this, we have overcome the problem of loading effect and the second one is second most important one is there is one voltage called offset voltage I, I, I hope you have seen in op amps where you will get sometimes you will get a, the output voltage without giving any input this output voltage is called offset voltage this is absolutely unwanted for the for an engineer so in order to avoid this one we use FETs that is field effect transistor can nullify the offset voltage value and the very important advantage of FET over BJT is if you consider if you consider the the equation of BJT current equation of BJT that is if you consider the common emitter configuration you will get the current equation as IC is equal to beta times IB plus 1 plus beta times IC naught where IC naught is exactly equal to the reverse saturation current of PN diode that is it is temperature sensitive I am sorry it is temperature sensitive that is as temperature increases IC naught increases by 7 IC naught increases 7 percent for every 1 degree raise in temperature IC naught increases 7 percent for every 1 degree raise in temperature or IC naught doubles for every 10 degree raise in temperature So it is highly sensitive for temperature values. Now let us consider as temperature increases, IC naught increases. As IC naught increases, IC increases. C. This is the major problem in BJT. That is in BJT. That is here BJT is having positive temperature coefficient as temperature increases simply IC is increasing now if you consider the power power dissipated by BJT is calculated as VCE times IC that is output power dissipated by BJT is the equation so as temperature increases IC naught increases as IC naught increases IC increases as IC increases the power dissipated by the BJT increases so obviously temperature increases this is a cumulative process and this process is called and by this process the BJT enters into a problem called thermal runaway thermal runaway 
in order to work on this we use fets there is no problem in fet uh, like this problem in field effect transistors why because in field effect transistors as temperature increases its drain current decreases that is it is having negative temperature coefficient whereas in bjt as temperature increases ic increases it is having positive temperature coefficient that is why field effect transistors are more advantageous when compared to bjt nowadays if you go into if you go to a uh, very high standard colleges universities big universities there the syllabus entire syllabus is not on bjt it is completely covered with mosfets nowadays why because it is more advantageous when compared to bjts now there is major importance of bjt that is first of all why do we bias a bjt why biasing is required first of all why biasing is required biasing is generally required for two things one is to keep the transistor in one of the three regions that is active saturation and the other is cut off in active region our transistor acts as amplifier whereas in saturation and cut off it acts as simple switch and the second important important reason why we bias a transistor a bjt is in order to provide thermal stability why because bjt is having a problem in order to overcome that problem that is thermal run away we should provide thermal stability how we provide thermal stability to bjt is there is an equation that is the power generated the power dissipated at the junction collector junction should be less than the cooling power the rate of cooling power the rate of power dissipated at the collector junction should be less than the rate of cooling at the collector junction this is generating power this is cooling that means if you are if you are generating a value of 1 watt at at a collector junction you should definitely provide 1.2 watt cooling power at the collector junction such a way that this thermal stability is provided to the transistor what you are using that is bjt in order to avoid thermal run away or in the in the other words it is written as vce should be less than vcc by 2 this is the major condition in order to provide thermal stability for a bjt to avoid thermal run away but in field effect transistors there is no thermal run away so we need not to provide any thermal stability technique so that the construction of field effect transistors is very easy this is one of the major advantages concept of fit over bjt and the final one is in order to uh, by the by, for, uh, based on the classification of thermal stability technique there are major major classifications in bjt biasing techniques one among them the best one is self bias or voltage divider bias this is the best technique which provides best stability to the bjt and when you come to the drawbacks of field effect transistors and bjts field effect transistor as i said earlier it is a voltage control current source that is voltage is controlling current and bjt this is field effect transistor and bjt is a current controlled current source this is bjt that is current is controlling current the output so this is the major drawback of field effect transistor why because in bjts we will get a gain of almost the gain of bjt the gain of bjt 
is almost between 50 to 100 db but the gain of field effect transistor is always less than 50 db this is the major drawback of field effect transistor that is the gain bandwidth product gain bandwidth product is always less and one more thing if this is a drawback there is major advantage of fit that is construction of fit is very easy when compared to bjt you no need to consider all the extended materials what we are used in bjt's it is very easy when compared to bjt these are the major advantages of fit over bjt thank you for watching this video Bye.